What's happening, everyone? I'm Kevin with Robertson's Power and Sports, and I can't believe it, but we're already ready to talk about 2023 Skidoo Snow Checks. I know some, this may be a uh, sore subject with some of you as you're still waiting for some of your 22s to arrive, but uh, unfortunately, we do have to roll out model year 2023 uh, and talk about that. So first off, I want to talk about, uh, many of you have asked in the past, what is Snow Check? Uh, so I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, what that is, is right now, uh, typically middle of February and traditionally it's gone until about April 15th again keep in mind that it has been in the past I don't think that the snow check will go as long this year uh, I could be wrong in saying that but all signs are pointing that uh, it's probably not going to go that long um, so what this does is gives you the opportunity to pre-order a snowmobile right now for model year 2023 uh, so basically you know you'll be able to get some of the spring only models um, whether it's an X package, an XRS, maybe an SE model, depending on which um, which model you're looking at, which line, whether it's a you know a Renegade or an Expedition, um, those have some um, spring only orders in them. Last year was a Mach Z, that was a spring only order as well. So um, again, exclusive models that are only available during snow check season uh, is when you'll be able to order that. So one of the things. People ask, why should I snow check and what are the benefits to it? And again, going on past history, um, you're going to have some options right now that you wouldn't get. And depending on, again, the model, you're going to be able to choose um, some different color op options, uh, some different track options, again, all depending on the model that you choose. Uh, also, you're going to have, in the past, they've done free extended warranties, whether that's a, a three-year and in years past, they've done a four-year um, free electric start upgrades, maybe some money towards accessories. Uh, these are all the benefits to snow checking. Um, so again, you know, as far as a lot of people will say, you know, why should I, uh, I'll just wait till, till the in season. You're not going to get all of those benefits that we just talked about, uh, with an in season sled and not to mention, it may not be the exact color that you want or the right track option or whatever it may be. Um, so basically how this works. They're going to roll out the 2023 snowmobiles uh, and they're going to be available for snow check. So it's very, very simple. You decide which machi machine you want, what's going to best suit you. And by all means, I'm here to help. Um, if you have any questions on any of the models, not sure um, what the best snowmobile for you is going to be, what the best model, what the best motor, what the best track's going to be for you, um, you know, don't be bashful ask questions you're talking about a pretty decent size size investment here so ask 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 and you know what i'm going to ask you a bunch of questions when you're talking to me about snow checking a snowmobile and it's not um just to ask you random questions i'm trying to get as much information from you to be able to you know suggest what i feel is going to be the best snowmobile for you so when i ask a bunch of questions just be right up front, honest and truthful. I hate to see you get into a snowmobile that you don't like because you just didn't ask the question. So um, again, I'm gonna ask those questions. That's to, that's how it's all gonna start. So you're probably gonna have a, a sled in mind that you're interested in uh, and I'm, we're gonna talk about that and maybe we go a different direction. Maybe there's a, a machine that you're not even aware of, um, you know, or a different motor that may suit you best. So we're gonna talk about that. Once we get the sled picked out, we're gonna talk about accessories. And accessories right now is a big thing. We wanna make sure that, you know, when you're ordering your sled, we know what accessories that you want. Again, ask questions, and I'm gonna ask you questions too regarding accessories, you know. Think about things like, you know, do you have an electric shield for your, for your helmet? We're gonna need an electric shield plug. You know, maybe ice scratchers, uh, some bags, fuel caddies, studs, um, all of those things, maybe some different, um, different types of uh, LED options, whether it's the high beam auxiliary lights. We have all kinds of you know options that we can put on these sleds and I'm gonna help you decide which ones are best for you. Maybe none of them, maybe nothing works for you. Maybe you don't want, you're not an accessory person and that's fine too, but at least know your options. You know, a huge thing that a lot of people forget about is a spare belt, you know? So um, we're here to help, just know that. Um, so. Basically, we're gonna talk about which sled you want, we're gonna figure out which accessories you want, and then once we have it all dialed in, we're gonna create a certificate for you, put it in BRP system, and you were going to give us a deposit. That's a $500 deposit or a $1,000 deposit. That's what it was last year. 
Uh, so basically $500 on every other sled except Lynx and Mach Z. Those required a $1,000 deposit. Don't know how um, the deposits are going to go this year. We will know once the release happens on February 14th. So that's basically how snow check works. Again, I can't stress enough. Ask questions. Figure out what the right, right model is. Ask about accessories. You know, that way there, you're getting the exact sled that you want with everything um, how you how you want it done. And by ordering all your accessories now, you're going to have a way better chance of getting them on time than if you wait till when you pick up the sled or when we call you next year and say, hey, your snowmobile's in, and then you rattle off a bunch of accessories. That's fine, but please keep in mind that it's probably going to be harder to get at that point uh, based off of all the constraints that we have in the world today and hopefully it's better for next year but again let's just be proactive and let's think ahead here so the other thing when we talk about accessories when you're looking at a sled online you can go ahead and build the sled online exactly how you want it add a bunch of accessories to it print that sh that slip off bring it into the store with you or you can send it uh, to to the dealer um, so as you're gonna build your sled it'll say send to dealer Click Robertson's Power and Sports. It'll send it right over to us. We'll get that. We'll be able to price that sled for you. Uh, the key this year, the, the, that one key word I should say is early. Please make sure that you snow check early. These sleds this year are going to be allocated and BRP may cut some models right off in the middle of uh, spring check. So if you think, hey, I want a certain model and you wait two, three weeks, I don't know the time frame, but they could just shut the switch off that model is no longer available. That is a reality that could happen. I'm guessing that it probably will. There's a lot of anticipation coming on 2023 snow checks. Uh, there, a lot of people are thinking there's gonna be some big changes. There may, there may not be, but if there is, you know, I think that there's gonna be a big push for 2023. Keep in mind, if you did snow check a 2022 sled and you have it or you didn't take delivery of it uh, before February 1st, one, you're going to get a $250 credit on your 2022 sled, and you're going to get a $500 rebate off your 2023 sled. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, I want to talk about our process a little bit because some people have asked this. Um, as soon as you snow check a sled with us, you give us your $500. We create a certificate in BRP system. We do not wait until the very, very end to put all our orders in. As soon as you give us the money, we are submitting this certificate. You're going to see the certificate printed off right there in the store, and it's going to tell you what model number you chose, you know, the engine number, the color, the track, whether whatever promotion you chose at the time. Um, the other thing I want to mention, we talk about choosing promotions, and that's going to be either, again, years past, an extended warranty, uh, maybe a track upgrade, any of that stuff. Last year, if you called back and said, hey, I want to change the promotion that I selected from, let's just say, a three-year warranty, I want to get the accessory money instead. Last year, that changed the ship date on that snowmobile. It bumped it back. So when you snow check a sled, the dealer is going to ask you the desired delivery month. This is not guaranteed. I can't stress that enough. It's not guaranteed. It's a desired delivery date. So if you had a desired delivery date when you first snow checked that sled, let's just say September, you call back in three weeks and you change that promotion at very well. That ship date now when we go to select that box may be January, maybe December. So keep that in mind, please. Be sure you got this honed in before you pull the trigger, but at the same time, don't wait too long because you don't want to be on the outside looking in, uh, especially if the model you want gets shut off. So uh, that's I'm going to talk about our process a little bit. Like I said, we're going to put the certificate in right away for you. Now, the other thing with how we do things at Robertson's Power and Sports, we are going to go by deposit date, and that is going to determine who gets what snowmobile when. Now, many of you know from a lot of the snow check videos that I've done, the updates that, you know, um, how we do it is by deposit date. And let's just say, you know, you there's five people that all ordered the same exact sled. They all have the same model numbers. Now, BRP, the, the machines are not VIN specific, meaning that when they build a sled and the VIN number ending in one, two, three, four, they're not saying that this is going to so-and-so customer. The dealer has discretion of where it's going. 
and I feel the you know the most easy way to track it and the most fair way to do it is when you come in and you put your deposit down I'm marking that date down so if, again if five of you ordered the same snowmobile and you were the first one to put a deposit down on it when that sled comes in that's the sled you're getting again that's the fairest way that I feel that we can do it so that's how we're going to continue to do it this year um, we're gonna start taking deposits on uh, Tuesday February 15th and the reason being behind that is um, the release is in the middle of the day, February 14th. Um, you know, it used to be that we were doing this out at club. It was after hours. It gave us some time to be able to take all the information in, um, process it, learn it. That way there, when you call, we have the answers to your questions. Now by doing it virtually, it's in the middle of the day. It makes it a little bit harder for us to be able to one, you know, still be at work and, and working through all of this and trying to watch all these releases at the same time. So I am going to do my best tomorrow afternoon basically to be in meetings um, and learn as much stuff as I can. That way there when you call me the first thing Tuesday morning, I have answers for you and you're not just going to get the, uh, I don't know, I'll have to call you back. That very well may, still may happen, but I'm going to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. So we want to make sure we have all our ducks in a row um, before we start taking deposits. The other thing that I will ask is, please be patient. We have a very, very small staff. I have one full-time sales guy and I try to help out as much as I can, especially during snow check season. So there's really one and a half, sometimes two at best, that are gonna be answering all your phone calls, your emails, stopping by the store. So we're gonna do our best. I will get back to you, I promise you that. It may be after hours, before hours, but I will get back to you, um, I, I promise that for sure so please be patient with us and i think every dealer is going to be in the same boat i i'm really anticipating a lot of people interested with snow checks and a lot of us are understaffed or run small staff so again your patience is greatly appreciated we will get back to you um the amount of hours that we'll be putting in here coming up just to be able to you know work through this whole snow check thing is going to be uh, it's going to be a lot but that's okay because we want to make sure that we're delivering you the exact sled that you want uh, and make sure that you can get exactly what you want so that's basically how um, snow check works here um, again you know a lot of what i just told you a lot of that information as far as promotions that's all stuff that they've done in years past don't know what they're going to be doing this year um, be anxious to see uh, but we're anticipating a pretty good 2023 um, but and the other thing i do want to talk about a little bit here i wanted to um, read this off to you that um, brp or skidoo is starting production very early this year they are going to do their best to make sure that they are not in the same position next year as they were this year that's not a good look for anybody believe me they have no desire to be delivering sleds in february as far as snow checks goes nobody is excited about that nobody's happy with that everybody's aggravated including the dealers so they're starting production very early this year to make sure that they can do everything possible to prevent this same thing from happening next year so i believe them when they say that that you know next year will be better and by them allocating dealers um you know only a certain amount of models or a certain number that's going to help with that okay so the other thing i want to talk about some people have asked me about a list it, do, is robertson's making a list to take people's names down take deposits so they can be on the list so that way there when snow check comes they're guaranteed a snowmobile and the answer is no as of right now i do not have a list a waiting list anything because i don't know what our allocation is so if i take 500 dollars from you to be on a list and they only allocate me let's hypothetically speaking here five snowmobiles i need to now call back all the people that were after number five and say by the way you're not going to get your snowmobile because i only got allocated five snowmobiles now again hypothetically speaking i'm going to get allocated more than five snowmobiles i can guarantee you that um but i just i don't do lists like that because i don't want to have to call anybody back and disappoint you know at that point we're taking money on speculation and that to me doesn't i don't like that idea um again there's other dealers that do that and I'm not knocking them for doing it. It works for them. For me, it doesn't work as of right now, so that's why I'm not doing it. Um, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, for, for you that are in the Maine and New Hampshire area, um, next week, 
Let me see here. I just want to give you the date on this. Uh, next week, February 19th and 20th, um, you'll be able to see some of the 2023 models up in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire at the Dorman B&W Quick Stop. All right. So make sure if you want to be able to see some of these sleds, usually they have a pretty good sized tour. This year it's not happening. The closest one to us is Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. I know in the years past we've gone to Manchester or Concord or they've done something up in uh, Augusta. Um, not going to happen this year. So um, keep that in mind. The next closest one we're talking is out in New York. So uh, if you want to see some of the 2023 stuff, uh, you got to go to Pittsburgh to get there to, to see it, I should say. Um, and Robertson's Power and Sports will be will be there at least one of those days to be able to check them out and chat with some of you and maybe answer some questions on some of this stuff because we're just as excited to see it as you are. So uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope uh, this helped maybe answer some questions. Uh, again, once the release happens, we're going to have a lot more information. Maybe we'll come on and do a video as well um, after the release just to maybe clarify some stuff. If you have any questions at all, make sure you drop a comment below. Give me a call at 207-324-5502. We'll be glad, happy to help you out. Again, we want to make sure that you're getting in the right sled for you. So the final takeaway from this is early, early. Order early, Ugh, easy for me to say, right? And then also um, ask questions. Ask, ask, ask. And that way there, you're going to get in the best snowmobile for you. So thanks for watching. Have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And we hope that this reveal is everything that everybody's anticipating. So we'll talk soon. Have a good one.